Hi, today I'm going to show the use EMF390 RF browser to detect the RF signal from cell phone. So now it's my cell phone is on the airplane mode. So I'm going to switch it off. This signal sends the cell phone searching for cell tower and the registration. Once it's registered, the level should be lower. So the Bluetooth, I'm going to switch off. I'm not going to test it today. So there is Wi-Fi and the cell phone network left. So I'm going to use uh, the speed test software to test the RF signals. So if I click on the test button, the Wi-Fi signal going to be used because my enable I enable the uh, Wi-Fi feature. Now it's testing Wi-Fi. It's reading about five. 1, 1.35 So it's not very high because my router is not far away, it's close by It's now Let's go back to the 0. Point, 1 point something, okay There's still some signal left over So I, I'm going to switch off the Wi-Fi only use cell phone network. 73 is is much higher than the Wi-Fi signal because cell tower is uh, is far away from my cell phone, much much farther away from compared to my router. So I use SIM software to test the RF. 127. Yeah, the cell phone always automatically selects the RF power to communicate with the cell tower. If cell tower is close, it's going to lower the RF signal. If far away, it's going to higher use the higher RF signal. Stop it. This is the buffering, so it's still going on. I know it will stop eventually. Yep, thanks for watching.